Okay, so now we're gonna look at the multiplication rule with um, probability. And so the multiplication rule says that the probability two events, A and B, will occur in sequence is the probability of A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B given A. Okay. But we just talked about independent and dependent events. So if A and B are independent, then we can rewrite this as the probability of A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B. So looking at the first example, two cards are selected. Without replacing the first card from a standard deck, find the probability of selecting the king and then selecting the queen. So right here, we said without replacing the first card. So that means that it's dependent. Okay. So we're finding the probability of getting a king and a queen. Okay, so the probability of getting a king would be four out of the 52 cards. Then we want to look at the queen. Well, we know there's four queens in a deck, but since we didn't replace the first card, <coughs> sorry about that, um, we're gonna be left with 51, okay? So we can multiply straight across with our fractions. Four times four is 16, and 52 times 51 is 2,652. And then go ahead and divide. And if we round, we get 0 0.083. All right, and our second one, a coin is tossed and a die is rolled. Those are independent. Okay, so find the probability of tossing a head and then rolling a six. Okay, so the probability of tossing a head when we flip a coin would be one half times the probability of rolling a six would be one over six. Multiply straight across and we're left with one over 12, which rounds to be 0 0.083. And now that I'm looking, I accidentally wrote the wrong answer here at part A. And let's say that this is actually 0 0.006. Sorry about that. Okay, so our next example, using the multiplication rule to find probabilities, we're going to talk about that one in class together. And then same thing for this last example, using multiplication rule to find probabilities, um, just because I want to really make sure that we understand it. But go ahead and try at least this first one, and let's see if we can figure it out. 